Hi friends, it's Janie Backer with Inspired Stamping and I am coming to share a cute fancy fold card with you today. I am calling this my mystery stamping for the week and going to review uh, the list of product layers that I have. So I have, should start here, I have an online host code if you're ordering. I would appreciate if you use this code when you check out. If your order is less than $150, it helps me with studio supplies so that I can continue creating and sharing with you. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you more regularly. So for cardstock today, I have a basic white layer that is four inches wide by two and three, nope, sorry, two and three quarters inches wide by four inches tall. And then colored cardstock, my base is four and a quarter wide by 11 inches tall. And then I also have a layer, there's my white. This is pecan pie that I'm using for my card base. The second piece in this color is two and three quarters wide by four inches. Then I have a coordinating card stock, three inches wide by eight and a half tall. I also have DSP that is four inches wide by two and three quarters high, two layers of those. And the smaller piece is to find my, here it is, two and three quarter inches wide by one inch tall. So those are the components. I am using the Latte Love Sweet for my creating today. And it is super cute and fun. Great dies, wonderful designer series paper. Um, this is a partial pack, so I don't have every single print in here, but it is really fun. I've enjoyed creating with it. Uh, let's see. Part of my design is that I'm going to fussy cut this mug. So, one of our tricks is to just move the paper. Oops. <laughs> and if it gets too narrow, then it's going to just come apart. So, just rotate that right around. This will be one of our focal images on the card front. I share this with my, sharing this with my team this week. So I had fun making various samples with them and then I'm gonna leave that handle right in there because I think it's going to be just fine. Um, all right, and that has a cute little print on the back side too. All right, so on your large piece, you are going to find it helpful to score it at three and six inches. And then you're going to fold it in a Z fold and then back down and get those edges and corners nice and straight. There's our accordion fold right there. I also scored this, this is Petal Peach, Petal Pink, sorry, Petal Pink, 
which has a peachy hue to it. So sometimes I'm cutesy and call it petal peach here in my studio. And it is scored at four and a quarter and then folded in half. Next, I'm going to adhere my DSP. And I always start in the middle of my paper and then I have a better control of the flow of my glue and work my way out. This is going to go right here on the front panel. Glue lets you have a little bit of wiggle room while it sets up that if you need to shift it, it has a little bit of shifty room. And then repeat with this next layer. So this Latte Love is one of our online exclusives. If you are new to Stampin' Up! or just haven't noticed, we now carry product lines exclusively on our online store and they are released three times a year. July this month is our most recent release. These were released in March, this beautiful suite. Okay, so those layers are adhered. We also have standalone stamps and embossing folders. Okay, I'm not sure that I really was ready to attach that quite yet, but it has glue, so here we go. It goes on the front of this. This is going to be a mini card. So let's go ahead and get it lined up and adhered. This will be the greeting letter liner inside of our mini card. I'm going to get all the layers put together. So this is going to go right here on the interior. Again, light touch, light pressure at the glue can always add more glue but boy is it hard to remove too much glue it oozes and your fingers get sticky and things start to stick together and then um, people say glue is impossible to work with but it's not it just takes patience and patience is a virtue that not all of us enjoy um, okay so this is going to go together like this so then it opens pops open but now we're going to do some stamping so <clears throat> going to use these sentiments hello there you're the best part of my day and I have the little coffee beans mounted as well um, going to grab a little piece of my scrap bag of basic white and just eyeball I think that might be the right size and I just grabbed a few ink pads that coordinate with this paper I grabbed early espresso pecan pie pool party and petal pink I am going to go with pecan pie for yeah for the hello there. Ink up my stamp and. I should have measured this scrap, let me tell you, is three quarters of an inch tall. And I'm going to just scissor cut a banner 
almost got it all the way across the center there. There we go. And add this piece on here. And I do have some foam craft sheets under this grid paper because it gives it a nice image. I've got a little wispy here, so we're just gonna flip. And second chance. Let's see. Um, all right, third chance. <laughs> there we go, I just squeezed that butter a little bit too much and there we go third time is the charm now let's walk down to our punches and get some options from the punch shelf i think that one and three eighths looks like a good candidate and my paper's a little bit too uh, short, so let's go grab the next size. What do you think? Do you think a one inch will fit? No, it will not. It does not fit, so we need like a one and a quarter inch, but I don't have that size here. So let me see what I've got for options here in my dies. So this is the, the joy of stamping on the fly. Well, this would fit perfectly and it's a circle from the, the die set. So I'm just gonna take here and I'm going to stamp it again, or do I just want to go with it the way it is? So many decisions. Let's see. Let's go ahead and stamp it again. And Also, try circles from the deckled circles. The deckled circles have every possible size, so that will give me some versatility. And I'd like to add a circle behind the petal pink, in, behind it in petal pink. So. This is our deckled circles. Isn't that exciting? Every potential size. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to do petal pink on this circle. And come down to my stamp and cut and emboss machine, which you can't see because I'm off camera for the moment. And just be patient while I do this. Please and thank you. Here we go. All right, so today I am using some new tech. I have a portable microphone clipped to me that is new to my studio. So if you have opinions on the volume or sound quality, I'd love to hear from you. I have the air conditioner running, which is noisy, I know, and a fan because the air conditioner just likes to blast air in one area and it stays there. And a trailer is stinking hot. So uh, we will clean that in a moment. So look at that. Didn't that turn out cute? I like it. Okay, so we'll save these for another 
project. I've got my mug and here these are going to go inside here so I'm going to adhere those flat and I use seal plus frequently you could use the liquid glue as well but just remember that when you tip it and separate that you want to come all the way up so that you are getting a clean break on those okay so now let's look at our cute little what we've got going here so what do you think should it be straight everything a little bit on edge I think I think I want to trim that a little so that it fits inside there nice and clean so I'm going to add some of our polka dot trim and I'm gonna make it like a little shel shelf across here and yes it has to have a diagonal edge So I'm going to run this across here and hope that I got it straight. <laughs> um, oops. And then center this. I don't want to use glue because glue will ooze through and make it a little wet and goopy. It'll dry, but sometimes uh, it can be a different texture. And then dimensionals of course on our mug and we're just gonna put it right there on our dotted trim now I could have inked up my little coffee beans and created a cute background but I did not I'm choosing to just keep that clean and simple. All right. And then we will add our sentiment. Yeah, I think that's good right there. So I am going to seize the opportunity to put some coffee beans on the inside of here though. One, two, and I'm going to just three. Okay. And that's with early espresso, so it's really dark. If I'd went with the pecan pie, it could have been a similar shade, but it also creates some contrast, which can be a good thing. So I'm going to use glue again. So remember, start in the middle, heavy, and then work your way out lightly. Do not ever go to the edge. See how? And then can get it lined up here. Centered just like that. Now it is still wet, so it could be a little jiggly, but I wanted to show you. That's what it looks like all closed up together. And of course we must embellish with the adhesive backed swirl dots. Here they are. 
Our take a pick tool is an awesome scooper. Picks up those embellishments just like that. And there's just so many places. To, and look, the um, handle does just kind of fade in there that we did not cut that hole out. So it worked out just great. So let's put one down here. Another one up here. And let's go up by the mug for our third one. So cute. I love the layers and opportunity to see all those different angles. Um, I know some people ask, does it stand up? Well, yes, it does. It can stand up. Um, it may be not, it's not an easel fold, so it may not be the most cooperative, but it, it can do the job. All right, I've been busy having fun with this and thought I would show you the other designs that I made and explored with. So I grabbed my Simply Xenias and put together this beautiful thank you card. And similar, but I added DSP behind the mini card. So changes that look a little bit. You can see cardstock, another layer of DSP difference. And then I also played with, um, oh my goodness, Friends for Life. No. Yeah, Friends for Life stamp set and DSP. So this is a die cut of foam adhesive sheets. Hi friend. And another thank you. And this is the watercolor prints on the opposite side of the graphic prints. And another thank you. So fun, lots of different looks. Um, you can have bows, knots, twine, gems and flowers, coffee, so many different ways that you can play with this. I hope that you like the projects I presented tonight or today. And I'm so grateful when you shop with me. Anybody that places an order over $35 this month always receives the Ideas Tutorial Bundle, which is created by a team of global demonstrators and is packed full of fabulous, full color, all the steps and details of projects for you to use with your Stampin' Up! products. So, have a great day, and please come stamp with me again soon. Bye, everybody.